So this is a audio of a question that I have for Vagrian. Um, I'll ask the question and then it will be followed by whatever comes through in terms of channeling. And this is a really personal question. Um, so I'm just going to dive right into it and be transparent. Um, the backstory is that I have recently had an experience with breast cancer and had to have uh, one of my breasts removed completely, uh, decided not to reconstruct. And um, I'm going to dive right into the question for Vagrian. So I have this residual emotional charge from the experience that I had um, in terms of the breast cancer and the trauma that I experienced um, with the surgery and with having my breast removed. And um, I'm wondering how to, and also if, um, how, how releasing that is going to happen for me. I'd like not to have to take too much of the trauma with me <laughs> into further in my story. And um, also um, recently, and also even during that experience, I've had another health concern that is unrelated um, appearing in my field and symptoms of something that has been appearing. And I have, um, every time one of these symptoms appears, I have the equivalent of a very emotional and panic-filled reaction to that. It doesn't feel super aligned or balanced um, or... Um, or chill <laughs> the reaction that I'm having to these symptoms and these stories that I'm telling myself in my mind, um, are, you know, of either catastrophe and not even the outcome of the catastrophe, but having to go through a similar experience with the medical system again, and, um, having to go through more tests, more procedures, more surgery, perhaps things like that. And, um, I know that that is that line of thinking is calling sort of somewhat of that reality into my experience. And even if not, you know, in real manifestation, at least in the emotional reaction to it, you know, when I'm thinking those things, I'm actually believing that that is going to be the case. And therefore, I'm calling that reality towards me. Um, how can I approach my health from a state of okay, that happened and that experience is complete and not project that previous experience onto my future experiences with my health. Um, and how can I approach um, caring for myself um, and, and being responsible in terms of my health with um, moving forward and any sort of further um, meetings with doctors or whatever it is. So um, this might be a long question and I voice it this way because then as I go into trance, perhaps uh, Vagrin will have picked up on um, the key points of whatever needs to be addressed. And so um, now I'll go into trance and hopefully Vagrin will channel some comfort and relief from some of this energy uh, for me um, and for you to share with you as well. So um I'll see you in a little while. Good now to you. First, we would like to thank you for the question. We will remind you that you interact with us, though not on a personal level, often, in each time you are being of service. This question is not only of a personal nature. Therefore, when you have your trepidation, when you have your fears of asking, of talking, of interacting with us, of channeling for yourself, so to speak, know that this is not something that is outside of the realm of service. This serves. There are those who will listen, who will hear who need this information as much as you do. Whatever is relevant to you is relevant to all. That is not because of some state of importance. However, it is because there are many of those who are having the same experiences as you, the same 
emotions, the same reactions to existence, to human existence, to human life, to incarnation that you do. And the space that you come from, the space of reference that you are at, the one that you vibrate at is a point of reference to others who vibrate in a similar point in that. You are an example. That being... Slow down and give yourself some credit. You have, yes, just come out of the other side of an experience that for many of you on your planet, for many in incarnate, for many of you in physical vessels, would have taken longer to process, would have taken longer to amalgamate, to alchemize into the jewels, the gems, the positive benefit that you have already transformed that experience into. You do not need to be hard on yourself. You do not need to criticize yourself for having emotions. You are speaking of mere months. Since you have transformed your body, since you have transformed your health, Since you have taken what to you seemed like very drastic action to take care of yourself, an act of, yes, self-love, but that felt to you at the time like mutilation. We know that you already feel the fortitude that this has provided you. We know that you feel the ability to be in compassion, to be in service that this has provided for you. You know already the positive outcomes the positive aspects of the entire experience you are already reaping the benefits of having had that experience where in many others perhaps and this is not a judgment it would take more time or effort or reframing before they could see how wonderful it is that you did have that health experience. And you ask about a present condition, a present set of cues or symptoms or hints that there may be something amiss or awry. And we ask you if that and all that occurred until now, has brought so much benefit to you and to those around you and to those whom you serve, how could whatever symptom, whatever is appearing in your field, possibly be indication that anything could be wrong? Where is the fear coming from? Where is it that you believe you know better? Then your body, then all that is, then the universe, then source itself. We know you do not want to experience suffering. We know that you do not want to experience more modification to your body. We know that you do not want to experience ill health or a lack, what you perceive of as lack of energy or vitality or focus. But in your not wanting to experience, are you also not wanting the benefit of whatever is occurring, whatever is to occur? If only for that, you may feel safe. Yes, it does not mean that there will never be illness or what is considered illness. Or there will never be diagnosis or what is considered a problem in your physical vessel. That is not the case. That is not the case for you. You know, this is no surprise, we do not need to tell you this, that your main theme in this existence is your physical vessel, is your incarnation. You do not struggle with other topics in the same way that you have felt to be struggling with this body, with health in general.
but you do not need to struggle. Can you find that same sense of calm that you know that the storm that has just passed has watered the crops that you will reap, that you are already reaping? Can you hold faith that every storm that comes is here to water what you have planted? Can you have faith that though there are periods of tempest, though there are periods of flood, that what arises after what grows from that could not have been without you are being asked now if you can stand in the relative sunshine the period of drying yourself off knowing that sooner or later another storm will come and that as it does the only accurate or aligned or correct response that could be of benefit to you is that of celebration. In the same way, when a storm arises, you take shelter. You make provisions for minimizing what damage could be. And you wait it out before you go and tend to your field. You may approach each aspect of your life in this way. We aren't saying at all, and you know this, that a specific storm is headed in your direction or that you will have to experience some of what you experienced in the past. You do not need to. We are simply pointing to the fact that what might need to be learnt or desired be learnt in this now is this information, is this knowing that no matter what arises, You are the skilled cultivator of what is to grow. We would offer also practical advice in this now. There are things that you can do, things that you know you can do to aid. Again, like the shutting of the storm windows to aid in the smooth movement towards the best outcome, the smooth movement towards the outcome that does not require perhaps a storm but a light rainfall. You can be joyous. And you do have the strength. There is also this belief that you will crumble under the weight. My dear, this is a lie that you are telling yourself that others have told you. There is no evidence in all of existence that you have ever been weak. That you have ever broken. You have evidence written on your body in this now of the proof of otherwise.
this evidence is there for you and for all to see that you bend and dance in a storm as opposed to be broken by it. Allow yourself now to let go of this fear, to let go of this sorrow. It does not serve. It is not serving you. It does not serve the beings that you have chosen to be here for. You are wise for having chosen to speak with us. We know it takes a lot for you to do so. And we invite you to do it more often. There is nothing to fear. You really have got this, so to speak. And we leave you with our gratitude, our humble acknowledgement that this connection, collaboration is as much your merit as ours. We leave you not only with the light of a thousand suns, but the rain in the perfect quantities that will allow everything that you would like to be and become its growth. And I know. Well, friends, <laughs> I will share that with you and um, feeling emotional, very loved. And I can feel like there was quite a lot in there that is useful for everyone or anyone facing any form of challenge or fear. Please let me know what you felt about this transmission and about um, what I shared here today. Please um, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Of course, that's free always. Um, I don't have a membership fee here. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for being here and for sharing this journey of being incarnate uh, on this planet in this now with me and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.